in most state teachers begin seven days fasting and prayers over delayed salaries hi welcome to my channel in this video you will see how the emo state teachers are suffering because of the areas the government are owing them and how they declared prayer to that effect please subscribe to this channel for more latest updates like this thank you and stay tuned Members of Imo State Chapter of the Nigerian Union of Teachers has commenced seven days fasting and prayers in the 647 autonomous communities over the non-payment of their three-month salaries areas. The union gave the directive to, the commence, to commence the exercise in a statement issued by the State Secretary of the Union, Godwin Osago, and made available to journalists yesterday. It urged teachers in the state to seek the face of God and mean suffering, lamenting that in spite of their plight during the lockdown, they were not paid even as they were compelled to remain at home. They expressed hope that only the Almighty God could touch the heart of the state government officials to pay them, to enable them and their family to feed. You are directed to embark on seven days fasting and prayers. The statement stressed. One of the teachers in the state, identified as Nkechi, told the reporters that they were really, really suffering, saying they were being owned over three months' arrears, lamenting that she was forced to explore alternative sources of income. It is really tough. We have not been paid since the COVID-19 pandemic. How do we survive? I will join my colleague to embark on the fasting and prayer, she said. <laughs> and this is too sad. The state government have not paid their teachers for three months. In fact, all, still, all through the, during the pandemic uh, lockdown, they have not been paid. So how do you expect them to survive? These are teachers who we know that they earn very little in the society. They are not well paid. And now you are owing them three months salary. How do you wish them to survive? This is so bad that they have to commence some fasting and prayer for God to touch the heart of the governor to make Make sure that their salary is paid. It is to tell you that the governor's heart is hardened already. If not, what will make people to resort to fasting and prayer to touch his heart? His heart is hardened towards teachers. How would how is he supposed to be owing them? Is it that the federal government is not releasing enough fund to pay them their salaries, or he is just on his own seizing the funds? Or I don't understand. Governor Opus Odema, please pay the people, pay the teachers. They have families to take care of. They have their own responsibilities that is waiting for them to respond to it. They have things that they need to do. Everybody knows how tough this lockdown period has been for everybody, including the businessmen and the civil servants, teachers not left out. So now owing them three months salary, how do you want them to survive? How do you want them to survive? Recurring the uh, uh, the the incidents of uh, Fulani herdsmen that have invaded the most state and uh, chased some farmers out uh, as an out of their farmlands. It is reported that the state is running food shortage as it is already because of the incident uh, 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 rape and killings by the herdsmen. Farmers are afraid to go to farm and they are lacking as in they are going on shortage of food produce, agricultural produce there. And now these teachers that even though things are very expensive, they are not being paid. Wouldn't you have the heart of God towards them? If not for anything, know the value, know, know what they are passing through. Know that they have families that they have to take care of. No, feel their pain, feel their, the responsibility that awaits them. So that is why after everything they have done, they have resort to praying to God. Because the, the, the traditional Igbo society, they believe it, as in they believe in God, uh, that it's God that can do anything that they cannot do for themselves. And that is why in their helplessness, they have to resort to God. Come to think of it, God is God, yes, and God is everywhere. But this is just something that the government can take care of on their own. But now, out of frustration, these people are now calling on God to touch the heart of the governor so that they will be paid the arrears of their salaries. Three months, three months is too bad.
This is to tell you how people are suffering in this country already. A lot of people have been passing through so many pains, so many afflictions. The little you have, you will not, it, has an, it will not be enough for you to supply for the needs of your family. And now look at these teachers in the other way around. As in everybody knows that during this lockdown period, some people do eat uh, two square meals in their houses before the lockdown. But because of the lockdown, you find that people tend to eat more. People tend to feed more because once you're at home, you'll always be hungry and you feel like eating some more. And this is a situation every family is facing at that moment. Now, these people have the mind to seize the salary of the teachers for complete three months. How do you expect them to survive? I keep asking, what do you want these people to do? If you cannot pay them, who will? Is it the private uh, schools that will pay? If the government cannot pay these the teachers, knowing that they earn a little, they earn a little, and that little is what they are asking for. For complete three months, the government did not pay. I wonder what excuse the governor have for not uh, you know, paying the teachers. I don't know his excuse. I've not seen his excuses or excuse that will make him not to pay people, poor teachers that are suffering to make a living out of their, their career. So I, as in, the thing is just disturbing. It's disturbing. As in, it's, not, it's not something that should be heard of. It, 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 it tarnishes the image of the state government, the government that cannot pay her teachers. They are not competent enough to be called a government. And not to say that they have not paid, they have not paid them for three months, consecutive three months, they have not paid. It's a pitiable situation. Assuming now maybe a husband is a teacher and his wife as well is a teacher. As in the, two, the two parents are teachers, their career, they are teaching. And now the government have not paid them for, for three months. How do you think the family will survive? How do you think the family will be feeding their children and, uh, you know, buying the basic necessities that is needed in the home? It's too bad. Please, Governor, listen to their cry. Listen to their prayer and pay this teacher so that they can take care of their families. If these people resort to crime now, you, you will see it. You will say they will be prosecuted. You, you will go extra mile to see that they suffer their crime. But now it is on your side. You are the person that is pushing them to the wall to, to, to do what they don't need to do. You're supposed to do the needful. Do the needful by paying them their salary and let them, you know, become useful with it for once. And not suffering the pandemic and the also suffering of hunger. I don't know, these are two different difficult things that the society is facing. So don't make it worse than it is already by owing them their salary. Pay them their salary. Pay them. Governor, pay them. Don't make people, don't make yourself be a prayer point to people. Make yourself be a nightmare to people. Because as it is already, you seem to be a nightmare to the Imo State teachers who you are owing three months areas. It's too bad. So if this is happening like this now, how, how do you think that the society will be growing? It's not growing the way it should. Because some people that have money to pay the other people, they are just pocketing it. Pocketing it for God's knows reason. And the people that are supposed to be enjoying their money are there suffering. The society, the country is as bad already. The security is nothing to write home about. The, 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 the food production is in some areas like that, your emo state, is not as good. And now they have to even suffer, as in for you not paying them their salaries. Are they the cause of the pandemic? Are they the cause of the lockdown? No, they are not. And these are people that are enjoy. They should be enjoying job security, like they they had. They are working with the state government, but now look at what they are suffering. With all these areas, how do you think these people will cope? And maybe after this lockdown, how do you think that they will happily go about their duties knowing that you are owing them complete three months salary? It's too bad. Governor, pay your people. Governor, oh, 
pay your people stop owing them pay them you have the money to owe them it's not as if they are begging you for money it's not as if they, they are begging you for food they are just praying to god for him to touch you that is turning to be pharaoh touch your pharaoh's heart so that you will use the money that is meant for them and pay them anyway i don't know what you have to say to this effect can we see your view in the comment section thank you for watching and bye for now